And it probably started when I was about 10 or 11 years old, driving down the San Bernardino Freeway on the 10 with my father. He used to haul wood on a flatbed. So I remember just sitting in that seat, just looking over at him, just proud of my pops driving down the road, big truck. We were, you know, we could see everything over us. So it, it was awesome. And that, I think that's where it all started for me. He would always ask me, like, what do you want to do, you know? Like as you get older and stuff like that, and I was like, I don't know, I'm, I'm young, I don't know, I'm in school, I don't know what to do yet. <laughs> At the time, unconsciously driving with my father, going down the road, picking up loads, that was being built with me. He would always tell me, like, look, figure something out. If you're gonna go flip burgers at McDonald's, you better be the best burger flipper the world has ever seen, but be great at it. Let people know around you that you love what you do. And I got that from my father. When I used to pick him up when he was like 12 or 13 and he'd go in the truck with me, I, I just always remember him sitting in the seat and he'd hit the button and the seat would go all the way up. That way he could look out. But just looking at him reminded me of myself with my father and just the smile on his face and we, we would throw on rock music and just seeing him over there, just looking out the window, big smile on his face and just the connection that we started at a very young age at that time. So after, after we would go on our trips and everything, I'd go back home like, man, I want to get back out on the road. Like, it's just a feeling that you just can't compare it to anything else. So when I decided to join into the military, that was my occupation, the 88 Micah Motor Transport Truck Driver. So I've always wanted to get into driving trucks. Like that's always been like in the back of my head. Furthering the career in the military, went on a couple missions, and then I had my son, so I decided to get back into trucking. My favorite thing about driving, oh man, there's a million things. I, I think most of all, just the freedom of being out on the road. Just having those windows down, listening to your favorite song, maybe some Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin for me personally. It's uh, therapeutic for me. Now I feel good going down the road. I know that my trailer is good. I know that my truck is good. I'm good. Like my father was saying, throwing on the favorite rock album. Me personally, I get my day started with ACDC. I love it. I just, the guitars, the drums, I just, I go for it. My journey to a million miles, because I run a dedicated short haul. So it took me almost 13 years because everything was probably about 350 miles, maybe 400 miles a day, but I would run six, seven days a week. So I did that for about 13 years. And I did a lot of that running at nighttime. So yeah, my million miles I'm proud of because it was a lot of grind, a lot of dedication, all with Ikea. Man, I'm now that I think about it and I'm looking back at it, that was a lot of days and up and down the mountains in LA. You know, driving with night transportation is something that I take great pride in. So I originally started with Budweiser and they paid for the class A and they had trainers there and everything. So once I got into that part of Budweiser, that's when I decided I wanted to go long haul and OTR. So that's when I looked into the newspaper and in, in big headings right there was night transportation. And so I called them up and that's really where it all started. When the time came, for me to actually choose a company. I honestly didn't look into any other company. I was like, I'm just gonna go at night. Like, I like night, I like the red trucks, you know, I like the trucks that they have. They look fairly new all the time. People take care of them. So having, seeing that people take part of their equipment, which just shows me that how much the background people take care of their workers as well. So that was the reason why I chose night transportation. You know, one of the things with us that I really do love is that we do run similar routes in the same area in short haul. And as far as like things that we do and the way we start our day, we listen to war. There's a song called Spill the, Spill the Wine, yeah. Take That Girl. That's kind of our song, our connection. We're always talking all day long until the moment it's time to go to sleep and take a 10 yeah. hour break. So we're constantly having those conversations. Yeah, our, our, uh, our phone records will show like, my, <laughs> mine says pops, 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 pops all the time. And that's something that it's helpful for me being a new driver and having my father that's been experienced 25 years, like, hey, Pops, like, what would you do in this situation? Or how do I go about this? And having somebody to lean on and it being my father, we never know, you know, when, when our time has come or when my, my father's time has come. So these memories that we share, memories of me driving, him driving and talking on the phone every day about life, about family, about my son, um, it, it's, it's a great, it's a great honor to, to be able to have my father there at a constant time when I need him. My son, just the man that he is, you know, what he's grown up to be, what he's accomplished at his young age at 23 years old is way more far, far advanced. I mean, being a father, 20 times the father I could ever be. 
you know, it, it, it just, in the way that he moves, the way he carries himself, the way he talks, the way he deals with people, and, and to being a father to his young son, being able to see all that stuff, uh, it, it, every day it touches my heart just to be able to work with him, drive down the road with him, and have conversations and laugh about everything. And those are memories that I'll always have with me, and we continue to have and make every day. So proud of him? Ah, way beyond proud of him. I love this man. That's my guy.